So animals are made of cells, but what are cells made of? And whatever makes up those cells are made of what exactly? Well, life in general is organized on levels, levels of ascending order or descending order, depending on how you see it, from small to big or big to small. But one thing for sure is that life is made on levels of organization. The smallest level of organization are atoms. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter. Before we get to the atom, let's define matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So the smallest anything that has mass and takes up space is an atom. An atom is so small that a cell is made up of billions of these atoms. A basic atom is composed of three things called subatomic particles. In the center of an atom is a nucleus which has two of these subatomic particles, which are a proton, positively charged, and a neutron, neutrally charged or not charged. Orbiting around the nucleus is the electron which is negatively charged. Atoms that have certain amount of these subatomic particles are called elements. An example of an element is a famously known oxygen. Oxygen has eight protons, eight neutrons, and eight electrons. The next level are molecules. When more than one element bonds together, they are called molecules. Another famous molecule is H2O, or commonly known as water. Water has two oxygen elements bonded to a hydrogen element. The next level are macromolecules, which is basically more than one bonded molecule. An example of a macromolecule is a lipid or a fat molecule. The next two levels are subcellular organelles and cells. Subcellular organelles are bonded macromolecules creating the cell's organs such as ribosomes, mitochondria, vacuole, and the cell membrane, etc. The next level is a cellular level. The cell is made up of these subcellular organelles. The following two levels are tissues and organs. A tissue is a group of similar cells. An example of a tissue or a skin or cells that make up your heart. The next level is composed of tissues that create an organ such as your heart. The next level are a group of organs that make up an organ system. An organ system carries certain functions such as your respiratory system. The respiratory system is composed of the organs such as lungs, nose, pharynx, etc. The next level is composed of multiple organ systems to create an organism such as ourselves, a human. The next level is a group of organisms belonging to the same species living together called population. The next level is composed of populations of species living in the same area. This level is called a community. The following level is an ecosystem which is the interaction of living things such as animals and plants as well as non-living things such as temperature and the sun. The next level are large communities recognized by its animals and plants that live in a called biomes. For example, a desert is a biome. The final level is the biosphere, which is composed of all ecosystems on the planet. In essence, the levels of organization are structural levels building on previous levels. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.